Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Unprepared Geeks, a smart pairs bi-weekly video cast about all things quality. I'm Nicholas. I'm Eric. I'm Henrik. And I'm Henrik as well. We have two Henriks. Cool. Uh, call this guy Martin. Yeah, <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, so basically what we do here is we discuss one, two, or maybe three topics uh, about what's going on in the world of tech uh, from a quality perspective. But today is kind of special because yesterday was uh, uh, the Apple event. We actually s sat here in the office watching it, drinking beer, uh, which might indicate we're fanboys. Let's see. <laughs> uh, so the question is, uh, in short, what did we think, Eric? Wow, well, um, not impressed, I would say, uh -huh. <laughs> actually. Um, I think actually that, uh, well, they, they deliver kind of what they, we expected they would be deliver, but still I don't feel it's very exciting mm -hmm. um, as it uh, used to be. Yeah, so some people are saying that is, I mean, you can't expect e excitement each time. Yeah. It's, it's been so long uh -huh. uh, and, and it's unfair to kind of expect that Apple will invent the wheel all the time mm -hmm. uh, but I, I have to agree this was uh, putting this rumor thing aside I mean the, all the rumors were right mm -hmm. even even taking that into account I think it was just it's not not exciting and uh, the features were like panorama come on that was like <laughs> maybe the most amazing feature of the iPhone 5 is panorama <laughs> That's just so. It's part of the <coughs> disappointment. Is that the fact that you know, knew everything in advance? Because you used uh, once upon a time, <coughs> Apple was really good at keeping mm -hmm. stuff yeah. secret. No, I don't. I just think that uh, there was simply too little. Uh -huh. Like it wasn't <coughs> Apple. Like yeah. you had, they had like pads or I don't know, I floor or something. <laughs> you know, it was always something big. Yeah. And now it was just like any other. Samsung yeah, exactly. HTC release basically. Mm. Uh -huh. so you kind of expect that Apple, because they had done so uh, previously, that they always innovate and always bring new stuff that mm -hmm. changes the market uh, for real, like the iPhone or the iPad did. Mm. Uh, and this time they didn't, they just like uh, upgraded uh, the current uh, yeah. stuff. But you did get an extra roll of icon stuff. Yeah, right? oh, sure. Awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but to be honest, when I, when, I saw, when I saw the Samsung S3 event, I thought that like they had their gimmick, you know, uh, innovations. Like if you look at the screen yep. and it won't like shut down and things like that. Uh -huh. and, uh, I don't remember the other ones, but it was kind of like gimmick fe features. Yep. And I thought, no, oh, that's pretty <coughs> lame. They try to be Apple, blah blah blah. Yeah. But now, when I see Apple's next event, is I feel like the Samsung was they did, did a great job. S Samsung mm -hmm. was Apple, and Apple yeah. was the pretender. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Cool. And I, yeah, I wonder why Apple did, didn't do the the same thing with the camera and the mm -hmm. you know the screen doesn't shut down. Is it patents or something? Uh, uh, I have no idea. I don't I know. know. I thought you Apple don't had all it. the patents. <coughs> <laughs> that's because I mean. Uh, the only iPhone guy in, in the room is me, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's behind the camera, of course. <laughs> but uh, except for that, it's, we're just two, two Apple guys. Personally, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of with you. I'm disappointed uh, in a way. But I'll go out and get it. Mm -hmm. mm. For sure. And my, uh, it's not like I have to pay full price for it. So it's not like I can get it when I'm renewing a contract or something. I'll still go out and pay full Swedish price for it. Yeah, and I think that's uh, one of the uh, Apple's big advantages that they have this uh, custom base that uh, always will get the new yeah. stuff, like <laughs> kind of regardless of what. And uh, that's that's pretty sweet yeah. to be in that yeah. position, yeah. I guess. Yeah, stupid and relatively uh, well wealthy enough to buy a new phone every. But day. I mean, it's. But uh, how long? How long <coughs> will that? loyalty last if there that's isn't special. the next I thing or yeah. whatever. Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. And also I think it's much simpler for Apple because they have, looking at the phone market, they only have one uh, product line, so to say. So they're mm. always the latest. Mm. And that's what you, everybody wants. Mm. I mean, looking at Android, for instance, you have uh, like a huge, huge uh, uh, set of phones and different uh, uh, manufacturers yeah. and all that. I so think that's so there's no real like this is the uh, Android you should use. Yeah, yeah, I think that's part of the problem. I mean, if you want to <laughs> be if you want to be like a religion, you can't have many Bibles. You oh. you need to have like 
this is the iPhone. This is the Bible. Yeah, yeah this is the Bible. Mm. And and I thought that HTC were since they were doing pretty badly when they just spammed out phones uh, a few years ago. Mm. Then they said, no, we're going to, going for everything is going to be called HTC One, all the phones. And then mm. we have X, which is extreme, yeah. S is small, etc. But now they're 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 releasing HTC Desire X, HTC mm. whatever. They have kind of they can't keep it together. It's just so hard to to just release once in a year. Yeah. But I think that's that's Apple will continue to have a, a very sealed fan base as long as they keep on doing the, this stuff right. right. But uh, so but isn't one of the differences between and here's where quality <coughs> comes in. Isn't one of the differences between Apple and the also runs uh, quality? Isn't Apple quality much better? I don't know. I think it's very <coughs> funny that you mentioned that because yeah. don't they like buy Samsung gear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so shouldn't they be able to have the same type of quality? Yeah. Maybe they don't. I I can't tell. But I mean, it's <coughs> it's always easier to to have a high quality in a domain where you can control it. We can uh, control everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's uh, so so yeah. I mean, uh, in that terms, I, I do believe that uh, Apple have better quality. Uh, control uh, at least yeah they have better quality and and I think but but I still think it's easy to compare to Android the average Android phone is priced like half the price yeah. than uh, oven so you I mean you need to compare bang compare. for the buck yeah, yeah I mean and if you compare it with like s3 mm -hmm. which is equally priced then yep. I guess the quality is closer to on par, but uh, it's still better on the iPhone. Yeah. And I think one of the things that makes iPhone magic still is is that, you know, when you drag something, yeah. it's still like this feeling that I'm actually dragging this. Yes. In Android, yeah. they got it smoother with ice cream sandwich, they got uh -huh. it even smoother with jelly bean, but it's still like, doesn't feel like I'm actually dragging this thing. Uh, it's Apple still lagging. have that uh, medical finger yeah. top. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The sensi feeling, the the sensitivity. Yeah. yeah, I, I agree. Maybe and, that's that, that, and yeah, it's true. And and they guess that's uh, Apple's advantages that they are looking uh, much into details yeah. and, and are like a bit of a perfectionist. So that's what we'll uh, do here at Smartware. Yeah. And I think uh, that's a good thing because I think that actually has inspired yeah. Android uh, as well. Uh, I don't think Android would be what it yeah. is now if it weren't for Apple and their. Uh, yeah, them forcing like them to be better. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but speaking of mobility, uh, let's move to the next next subject. Uh, <coughs> is Business Insider uh, uh, showed a study where where basically uh, the U is, is U.S. only, but uh, you spend more time on uh, consuming media, whatever they might be, uh, uh, the internet. Uh, video, uh, social media, mail, whatever. They spend more time on mobile devices or mobile phones than they do on TV, which is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it feels like. For me, it feels like we're definitely in the future now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and, and I would like to ask you because this, this was a US based. What? How do you consume uh, your media? I actually uh, consume very little actual TV, I think, yeah. if you mean TV as in broadcast TV. Yeah, I mean uh, in the living room. Yeah, yeah. I, I watch in the morning, like the news mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. But when I think of it, I in the evenings, I don't watch TV. I mm -hmm. watch like uh, online media or, yeah. or I, I read my Amazon stuff or, uh -huh. or it's, I don't know. When I watch very little broadcast TV. Mm -hmm. Every now and then there's like the Eurovision thing and yeah. football locationally or some sports yeah. Yeah. yeah but very little yeah. like normal tv Eric, how much time do you spend on watching the tv uh, in the living room per week uh, uh, or per day per day maybe an average uh, one hour mm -hmm. but it's so hard to know how much you spend on the mobile phone because it's, you, you look at it occasionally for a uh -huh. short while, yep. often, yeah. and uh, you don't have any regular things that you always do. Mm. Each like each day between five and seven, I usually <coughs> look at my phone. It's not like that, so it it probably piles up to one hour. 
Yeah. I, I'd like to believe it's not more, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. So, uh, so the question is, uh, what would it take for you to uh, cut the cable? That is to, to get rid of the TV. I'm pretty close to it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm very close to it too, and it, to me, it's all about the the contents. Yeah. Uh, and I, to, I mean, looking at this is a classical example, of course, but looking at Spotify, for yep. example, yep. for music, yep. uh, they have really re revolutionized in those terms that uh, nobody like buys uh, CDs anymore, yeah. or like even go to uh, iTunes or anything mm -hmm. like that. In in my um, um, circle at least uh, yeah. everybody uses spotify yep. or, or similar service because it's stream to you it's on demand you get it when you want yeah. and i think that that it it takes something like that for the tv as well uh, to to be able to cut the because uh, you want still access to all the tv shows yeah you exactly i mean that, yeah. that's the only thing uh, yeah. uh keeping me at least uh, in front of the tv yeah i would really love to have such a service and uh, that uh, everything is on demand, everything mm -hmm. is available and it's uh, released, uh, uh, so to say, when it's uh, released by the networks. Uh, yeah. uh, and then I, I'm free to consume it in every way I like, either on my, my mobile phone or yeah. on my TV or on my computer or tablet or whatever. I yeah. mean, it doesn't matter like uh, in the way I consume it. It's just like it's there and always available. But still, mm -hmm. one of the main criticisms of Spotify historically has been the ra lack of a, ra a good radio yep. functionality, yeah. and I think that's like uh, <coughs> because not everyone likes to follow music blogs yeah. and uh, be some very people active. just want to be uh, active, passive consumers. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's especially true for TV. Yeah. Uh, so if this like Spotify for TV, mm -hmm. uh, Netflix, whatever has a radio functionality maybe yeah. and then then we then it's kind of like <laughs> broadcasting TV so I, I don't think broadcasting TV will go away as a good point. in the same way that I don't think Spotify will drop its radio functionality so uh, something else uh, if we talk about if we skip media for a while and talk about uh, mobile usage in general uh, what uh, what is missing for the mobile phone what are you missing <coughs> to be could, could you live your life in the mobile phone? Or is there something you think is missing? Is there something you would never ever want to have in the mobile phone? I, I yeah. must say that I'm really excited about the mobile payments. Yeah, th th that, that was that, one of the things yeah, I was that, thinking. That's something yeah. that's on the rise, but still it's, uh, it feels a bit uh, mature. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully, and actually that was one of my uh, disappointments with the new iPhone, that I really hope that it should have um, no near uh, field NFC, communication, near yeah. field communication yeah. because that is usually the technology you use for yeah. for mobile uh, uh, payments. Yeah. So so that that's something that I really miss. That I want to be able to use my mobile phone as uh, my wallet, yeah. so I can go into the store just uh, uh, hold my phone uh -huh. uh, in front of some kind of receiver, and you just uh, who draws who the money, who and uh, I'm done. Who, <laughs> who wouldn't do that? I, I'm I'm scared shitless. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, if you can take over the iPhone with an SMS, yeah, I would never allow uh, the mobile phone to. <coughs> but I mean, there there is going to be problems, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> there will Eventually, be there it's going yeah. to be safer. I'm, I'm and still and paranoid about it. And uh, <laughs> there, um, I mean, everything that possibly can be exploited will be exploited. Yeah. But, but, but yeah. at some point, it will be safe enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, a credit card, so it's not really yeah. safe, I mean, it, but it's safe I, enough. Yeah. So, I would yeah. imagine when the first internet banks launched, yep. like people also like shit scared, like, oh, yeah. am I supposed to manage my money on internet? That seems yeah. super unsafe. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I think you can internet use any bank. any service from your the major banks and not be scared because they will just pay pay you back because Year they back. they have invested uh, billions into these technologies and. I take yeah. it back. I have the, the bank on my iPhone. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> okay. Uh, admit my mistake. Uh, I want for near field communication. Give it to me now. Okay. Let's. Uh, this is time for the final segment. Segment sounds really pretentious, doesn't it? But so this is what we call. Uh, it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, that is, we'll go rapid fire through a number of issues, and y you guys will answer success or fail. Hit or miss, doesn't matter. Uh, basically, just 
answer straight from your heart. Uh, and we'll revisit some of these subjects we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, iPhone, new screen resolution. Mm, I would say uh, Hit, actually. It's always better. Yeah. Hit, it's bigger. Mm. <laughs> hit. Hit. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, was <laughs> pretty, <Pixels> <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> great. Uh, the Lightning Cable. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, with the new iPhone, there is a new cable connector that is smaller and and better in, in every way, according to Apple. Hit or uh, miss, Henrik? Miss. Miss. You first. <laughs> yeah, I miss, I think. We don't need uh, yet another cable, so this is definitely a miss. I'll say hit, because I have it. Uh, and you see this, can you zoom in? You see this big thing here? It always gets stuck a lot of lint in it. Mm -hmm. And the, the lint actually gets stuck between the button, button and its, its connector. So I have to vacuum the... So but for me, it's a big hit. Yeah, but that's just another that Apple connector. So, yes. so no. this, is a, uh, this is actually a miss. This point is, this is a miss. Okay. Yeah, so you're saying the alternative would be USB 3 or something? Or something, yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. it's USB 2 in the new iPhone. It's not USB 3. Oh. Uh, the new design, have you seen it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The hardware design? Yep. Yeah. It, it's a hit. Mm. Unibody aluminium. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know. Miss. I, I would say miss because I'm not very excited about it. <laughs> I would say a big fat hit. That's the reason why I'm going to buy it. Mm -hmm. Because it's beautiful. Uh, also in the new iOS, open maps.